Hey everyone, this is Joey and I'm back again today to talk about our update for this week on the ESC prediction tool. And we're gonna focus on semifinal two. You know we're getting down to the wire now at Tel Aviv just days away really from uh, rehearsal starting. I've got my t-shirt ready to go. So we are really getting close now. So it's time to talk about what the tool is telling us for the most likely winner for Eurovision 2019 and for who will qualify at a semifinal two. So before we get to semifinal two, I will just mention that the odds this week for the Eurovision 2019 winner, you know, I think we expected things to pretty much stay the same. The Netherlands is still with a pretty uh, large degree are still the favorite to win. I will note that our odds are showing uh, Spain is now in the top 10. Uh, so that's that's a new development. And week over week, uh, most countries have like their odds have decreased a little bit, with the exception of Spain and Iceland um, in the top ten. So Iceland is showing a little bit more momentum in in our in our prediction. So I don't know if that's um, what that could be, but you know, keep keep an eye out for Hartari. So let's get into semifinal two. And again, I'm gonna go through the running order and then describe what are some of our observations along with the prediction that the ESC plus tool is giving. So to start off semifinal two, we have Armenia with Sarbuk and walking out. So our tool has this as qualifying. It does have it closer to the cusp, like coming in eighth place right now. Um, I am not convinced. I am a little nervous for Armenia. You know, they didn't qualify last year. Um, although this is a strong entry, very professional, very polished uh, artist, it is going first in the semifinal where there are a lot of big favorites. Um, like maybe four out of five of the of the five favorites to win Eurovision are coming in the semifinal. I don't know that it's going to stand out enough. So, but having said that, the, the ESC plus tool is predicting that Armenia will qualify. I may disagree. Um, after Armenia, we have Ireland. So uh, in the second running order, the song 22. Now you'll remember that when Ireland qualified last year, it was sort of a big surprise. They weren't expected to qualify last year. And it was it was very exciting for the country. I think I don't see that happening again. I see producers maybe seeing this as a song that just is not like going to resonate enough for with with listeners to qualify, and they've put it in the second spot, which historically is a bad spot in the running order. So I I just feel like this is not Ireland's year. We're not going to have another shock qualification two years in a row for Ireland. Uh, coming in third will be Moldova, and that is Anna with uh, Stay. And, you know, this was a big change for Moldova, kind of coming off of a couple of years of having that really fun, um, energetic song to go into, like, now a little bit more. It's a ballad. It's very sophisticated. I think Anna is going to really, really deliver it well, but I, I don't see this connecting with a wide enough audience to put it into the final um, and our tool will actually agree with that. Um, so we have that as not qualifying and I agree. Uh, so now we come to the fourth position in the running order and that is Switzerland, Lugani with uh, She Got Me. Now everyone should know that this is one of the favorites to win Eurovision 2019. It is consistently at the top of our fan polls and most of the odds out there. Uh, so I think this is the first sure bet, I would say, as ter in terms of qualifying in this semifinal. And there are a few of them, um, but this is the first one. Uh, it's We're showing it with a 70, roughly a 70% chance of qualifying. I agree. I think this is going to sail through and it's going to be really fun to watch how Switzerland stages it. And it's also going to be fun to watch Switzerland um, come back to the final because they've been um, kind of missing out the past few years. They've been getting pretty close and they've built a lot of momentum with with fans and their songs and then they they don't qualify so i think this will be a great moment for them um and then after luca we are off with latvia and carousel um 
Now, this for me is just going to get lost. I know maybe the juries will respond to it some, but coming after that big dance song, I, I just don't see uh, Carousel having enough to, uh, charisma to really bring this into the final. So um, I am going to go ahead and agree with our tool and saying that this is another non-qualifier for semifinal two. Moving on, after Latvia, there will be Romania. Now, this is an interesting one. This position in the running order is actually seen as one of the more favorable ones. I read a great article on Good Evening Europe. Um, our friends from Denmark did a really nice analysis of uh, all the running order spots and the data that supports their qualification rates. Um, and this is actually one of the better spots. So if you believe in that or you think that's an indicator, this is something going in Romania's favor. The other um, piece of information that's going in Romania's favor is that they've qualified pretty much every year, except for last year, where they came pretty close. I think they came in like 11th or 12th. So this is a country with a strong voting record. And uh, I think Esther is going to deliver a great performance. She's already shown that in Selection Nationale. And the staging just keeps on getting is more and more interesting each in each uh incarnation that it possesses so i see this going through i actually um our tool actually doesn't right now it's got it sitting in 13th but i am um, gonna say that i i disagree here and i think that romania will make it through um so moving on after romania is denmark and you know leonora i think here this is another it could, it's borderline it can go either way but i think leonora's simplicity in her song with the simple staging is going to resonate with the voters enough for it to get through. Uh, we also, as a reminder, we have Sweden and Norway also voting in this um, semifinal and, and, and also the Netherlands. So there's a, I think there's a good amount of love from neighboring countries too, so that you might see um, this is kind of a good sp spot for Denmark to be in. So. Uh, our tool has it 10th, and I'm going to go ahead and agree with it there that it will qualify. Um, after Denmark is Sweden. And again, this is John Lundvik with uh, his song for this year is going to be another one of the easy qualifiers. I think there's no scenario in which this does not qualify. Interestingly enough, our tool has it fourth, um, but I still see the jury putting a ton of support behind this song. Um, and, and Sweden will be in the final. And it's no accident that Sweden is in a, a great spot in the running order, uh, kind of mixed between the mid-tempo ballad and um, running after Sweden will be Austria. So you can see that it's, gonna, it's in a spot where it could stand out very easily. So Austria comes after Sweden. And now I don't, I, I'm confused about Austria. They, they've had a few really good internal selections the past few years and they really surprised everybody last year with uh, Cesar Simpson winning the jury vote. And, you know, they went for the internal selection again this year. And I just keep on waiting for the song to be a grower and for it to latch on to me somehow. But I've given it months. I, I don't know. I, I don't I don't see this really connecting with with an audience in three minutes. Um, and our tool agrees with that. It gives us a very low chance of of qualifying, placing it in 14th. So I think this is the end of a pretty good run for Austria and maybe they won't qualify this year. Um, after that, we move on to Croatia. And this is again, another one that I don't understand because um, Rocco is, seems really great. And the, I think the song is lovely. I just don't, uh, it's, it's not getting a lot of fan support and it's a uh, kind of a, dated ballad that I could get very easily lost in this mix. But I know that Croatia really put a lot of effort into recalibrating their national selection and they moved away from their internal selection from last year and they revamped Dora, um, the competition. They did a lot of work to get that correct in, in their eyes. And I just feel sad for them that this is the result. I, I you know, I, I hope they bring back Dora next year. It seemed like a great field of talent and there was a lot of enthusiasm for it. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Um, Roko is so young and 
I think that he's uh, got a great career ahead of him, uh, but just this, this really isn't the song, I don't think, for, for them to qualify. Uh, after Croatia, we're moving on to Malta with Michaela Pace. Now, I think that this is another one that is going to qualify with pretty good uh, room for error. I, I see this as being one of the fan favorites, and it's every, Malta. People are rooting for Malta. I, I think people want to see Malta qualify. People want to see Malta eventually win Eurovision. So I see this as is getting in there, no problem. Italy is also voting in this semifinal, so that helps them as well. So um, hopefully we'll see Michaela in the final. Uh, and our tool um, also agrees with that. Next up is Lithuania with uh, Jury and Running with Lions. Now, Lithuania has had, had a pretty, has a great uh, turnout last year. Um, I just, I don't see this being on that level. I, the song is, I think, too simplistic, um, for it to connect to an audience and really have that fan support. Our tool has it coming in like 16th of the semifinal. So although Jury, I think will, again, will deliver an excellent performance with a lot of passion. I, yeah, it's going to get washed out, I think, a little bit by some of the, these other big, heavy hitters in this lineup, which, by the way, coming right after them, is Russia. So Sergei back in the competition. This is another one you can put it in the bank. He's qualifying. Um, no matter what they do with the staging, um, he's qualifying. And I'm sure they're going to actually do something very, very special with the staging. So uh, we'll see Russia in the final. After that will be Yonida from Albania. Now this is, uh, you know, I think this is one where a lot of people are divided upon it, but Albania surprised us last year with the amount of support that it got, especially from the juries. And I see that, that formula being repeated here where the song is in the Albanian language. It's got a lot of texture to it, a lot of dramatic quality. And I see that this is again, an unbelievable vocal that is going to be put forth. And so I think uh, good things for, for Albania. Our tool has it qualifying in with in eighth place right now. So um, in a very tough semifinal. So I think I think it's gonna make it. I agree. Um, so then finally, next after that, we have Norway. Uh, so this is another fan favorite. Um kind of it's spirit in the sky. This has been, I mean, Tom Hugo, uh Alex. Fred, they are the, I feel like they're the hardest working um, contestants that I've seen ever. They play every show. They talk to every fan. I feel like they're just putting so much heart into this uh, number and they've got so much fan support going in. I can't see a scenario where this does not qualify. I mean, it would be a real, real shock. So even if it ends up just skating by, I see that we're going to have our friends from Norway in the final. And our tool agrees with that, placing them in fifth place. After Norway, we've got the favorite to win Eurovision 2019, Duncan from the Netherlands. So this again, put it in the bank. He will be there. Our tool actually has rounded their semifinal qualification chances to a near certainty of 100%, which I know is mathematically incorrect, but, um, it's that much of a, of a certainty by every measurable statistic that we have. So, uh, it's just a question of which city it's going to be hosted in at this point, I guess. Um, but yeah, we'll see Duncan in, in the final. After that, we have North Macedonia, uh, and Tamara. Now, Artul had this place qualifying for a while. And just recently, I think it's dropped down to 11. I do see it as being on the cusp largely because of where it's in the running order. Um, I think if this was earlier on, it may be not going to have that much of a, a chance of qualifying. But it is going next to last, and so our tool gives it a good a good chance. It's it's coming in 11th right now, but I, I agree. I don't think this is going to make it. I just feel like there's it's too combative with so many big uh, favorites going in the semifinal and then some really strong fan favorites. I don't see the song having the support and I don't see it gaining a ton of fans in that three minutes. So maybe the staging will surprise me and I will be wrong 
about this because I'm wrong about a lot of things, but um, I don't, I don't see it. And our tool agrees with that. And then finally to close the show, we have Azerbaijan, um, which is and a truth. Now this is a, a song that I think, you know, the producers have placed uh, this song last for a reason. It is going to kind of energize people to pick up the phone and vote. I think that Azerbaijan Again, is another country with an amazing record in terms of qualification. Um, they didn't get it last year, just missing narrowly. I think they're going back to the final. So, so there we have it. So um, just to recap what the ESC tool has said, we've got at the top of the list, we've got the Netherlands, followed by Switzerland, Russia, Sweden, Norway, Malta, Azerbaijan, Albania, Armenia and Denmark. Now, in terms of where I've disagreed with the tool, I am going to say, actually, it's just probably for me right now, it's just the one spot with Armenia because I do see Romania finding a way in there and it's got to come, you know, it's a zero sum game. It's got to come from somewhere else. And I see Armenia as being vulnerable from mostly from the running order. Um, from from going first, it can be a great thing or it could be, you know, just kind of a 50-50 thing opening the show. And I think semifinal two opened the show last year. We had Norway and it won the semifinal, but it it could easily not qualify um, from the same spot. So I'm uh, giving it that and that's where I see, but I don't really, you know, have a crystal ball or know too much here. This is really just we're using the information that we have and a little bit of instinct. I would love to know what everyone else thinks. So you can leave your comments down below or you can check the article out about this week's prediction updates on the ESC Plus website. Uh, and you know what? We're getting really close to Tel Aviv now. I think this might be one of the last videos that I do alone before we bring Jamie on um, to the coverage starting in Tel Aviv. And again, check out the branding, I will be in this t-shirt. So if you are in Tel Aviv and um, you see us, please stop by and say hello. It would be wonderful to meet some of our viewers and readers. Um, so thanks for watching and come back next week for another update.